And these doors you can open up uh, later on. Essentially, you get more stuff as the game progresses, and even after you finish the main line, there's still some side stuff you can do. Although in this game it wasn't as prominent, in later games, like uh, 2 and up, you had so many secrets and so many extras. There we go. Ah, uh, we don't have the money yet. Also, about these power-ups they sell, eventually they wear out, like... Well, not like the ones equipped, but you can only buy so many at the trader. They literally oh. run out of upgrades. Most of them are sold, like, in stores. You get a few True Story events. I think there is this one that Dad gives you and you can't skip it. Oh. And other than that, yeah, you just find them on the internet. Pretty weird when you think about it, but that's how it works. And then don't they have that thing if you have the Game Boy Advance version? You just gotta like pop it in there. Mm -hmm. Also, we're now in the other section oh, of the. Oh yeah, don't you have that gym? What? That ship thing from Mega Man? Mm -hmm. This game? Yeah. Uh, starting with the first game, you could use chip gates. Uh, however, the first Chipgate series was only released in Japan. However, it is backwards compatible, so you can use it on this one. Okay, new region, new enemies. Also, this enemy is gonna annoy the fuck out of you real soon. It's a cannon with a face. A Pac-Man face. Yeah, and the other enemy has a long sword, so I can't hide in, like, the back row. There we go. Long sword D. Now, a combo I mentioned earlier is Sword, White Sword, Long Sword. If you do it in this game, I believe Mega Man just slams all three swords in someone's face. However, in the later games, if you do it, uh, you actually get like this huge ass sword that you can use whenever you want. Which, I think the weakest incarnation did 200 damage, so yeah, that's not bad. That I'm seeing as the second game also gave you styles and whatnot. Let's see... I think this is the way to the boss. It's been so long. It's still called Money Zenny. Hmm? It's still called Money Zenny. Yeah. That's what they do in a lot of Japanese games. Okay, this might work out for me. Unless I was too slow. God damn it. He made it away. There we go. Okay, that's the ramp we want to be. This is the ramp we are. I think this. Yeah, this leads to it. Or, no, no, it doesn't. God damn it! Actually, this is fast. The first game also gives you armor systems and shit, like you can buy wood, elec, and fire. I don't think there's an aqua, but all they do is give you less damage, I think. And if you got hit by the uh, opposite element, you take double damage. Oh. Which was essentially a giant kick in the nuts. There we go.
Gee, thanks. What would I do without my wide sword S? Also, another thing note mentionable, uh, worth mentioning. Later on in the games, they started uh, making the areas more accessible. Like, you could clearly see what area you were in. The first game, everything was fucking white! I don't even know where I'm going! I'm lost! I admit it! I need to be at the other fucking ramp! God damn it, Capcom! Dark and fire, kill him for me. Damn it, Dark and Fire, do it for me. Uh, ah, you lazy git. Right, this is where we came from. God damn it! Nerves, I have none. Motherfucker. Oh, this is just great. Dark and fire. We have dark and problem. What? You don't see it. Uh oh. There you go. Yeah, that almost got us killed. Let's see. Uh, I say fuck it. Run away! Okay, let's try the other side. Oh, uh, God. We'll lock the sortie in the bottom row. So, there we go. Stam the sword down his own neck. There we go. Problem, Dark and Fire? Nope. Ah, here's the boss. Well, at the top of the ramp. That metal just cock blocked the thing. Oh well, tragedy ain't it. So dark and fire. Who could have possibly made an earthquake? Take a wild guess. I don't know. Seriously, take a wild guess. Oh wait, it's the next round. Still, though, who do you think did it? What would this boss's name be? I don't know. That's Here's a good. hint. Capcom's original. I don't care. Still, humor me. Take a wild guess. Uh, Just do it. I don't know. Why not? God damn it, it's not here! Ah! Excuse me, folks. Okay, so after like 20 minutes of agonizingly running around like an idiot, I found this guy! Dear God, I hate the Area 1 internet. Gook, gook, gook. That's a very good question. Dark and Fire, what do you think he's doing? I don't know. How do you translate gok gok into that? Oh well. To control the world, I guess. Stone Man. Well, I was lost. Stone Man, Dark and Fire. Really? Stone Man. Really? Yep. And then they gave it the they God damn. They just cannot be original, can they? 
They've done worse. Oh, really? Yes. Also, ow. Then explain to me. What is worse than Stone Man? Star Man. Star... what? Star Man. Are you kidding me? Nope. There we go. Wasn't that the name of one of the enemies or something? Like Earthbound or Mother or something? Probably. This guy's fairly annoying because it's been a while and he drops rocks from the ceiling. Also, for the more attention-paying viewer, we have been editing the folder to carry as many bee chips as possible. The only problem with this is that Stone Man, our good buddy here, is kind of a non-moving enemy, and he is currently in the back row. Oh god. Can you get the second row in front of him? I'm working on that. I'm working on it. Rather, I was working on it, then I got hit in the face by a stone laser. Meanwhile, let's just keep on firing at him. Typical. B, B, B. That it? We out of Bs? Yeah, we out of Bs. Unload! Uh, add more chips. God forbid if we ever get another area steal. Okay, Dark and Fire, place your bets. Will we get another area steal, or will we kill him with our gun first? I'll probably kill him with the gun first. I think you might be right here. Let's see. One range. Let's see. 30, 60, 90. This will be more effective. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Dead! See, I was right. Money! We did it! I am not entirely sure how this works, but oh well. Yes, because nothing is more important than that power up program Dad promised me. Dear God. <sighs> oh well. On to the train station. Hey, Dark and Fire, do you know how to buy a ticket? I don't know. Oh, they're free for grade schoolers, apparently. Uh, so grade schoolers can just get on a train by themselves? Yep. Oh, have I mentioned, uh, Lan, if memory serves me, is an 11-year-old? What? Mm-hmm. What building is this, by any chance? Office building? Huh? Yeah, this is where your fodder works. You have to press oh. the button. The elevator is only for staff members. You're a bitch! Oh, wait. Please pay your bill. Construction. Let's use the damn stairs. There are no stairs. They're lazy. Oh, Skylab is this way. God damn it. Well, Can I help you? Yes. I have to going to carry all the way over to the other room. Hmm? I thought it was going to be like Professor Oak, like... Uh, the lady in the other room just knows that you're going to go use the elevator. There's nothing inside. Nothing inside. It's an RPG. I must click on everything in the hopes of finding stuff. Wait, what? Yeah, let's, like, just jack into my dad's computer and leave him a message. Sure, why don't we? It's not like we can accidentally blow up the world. 
Makes me nervous. Yeah, it better make you nervous. Ah. Let's see. Is there something I can talk to? Oh, look. It's your favorite friend. Hands. Let's see. If there is nothing in the corner... Oh, great. One wasn't enough. We need more. God damn. A little bit overkill, Capcom? Sure, why not? It's not like I like living or anything. Right, God damn it. Well. Oh. That sucks. Wait okay, you... so one bullshit moment later. Okay, never mind. Great. Um, so, yeah, in case anyone's wondering to what just happened, um, turns out I didn't save, so I had to beat Stone Man all fucking over again. I hope you saved this time. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see what's in here. Huh, this thing. Let's not. Essentially, it's a virus-making machine. Huh. If it deems you worthy enough, it gives you a strong virus. Well, the first day is up again. Well, first day. The day. Also, that reminds me. Uh, only Sal's here right now. Oh. Woodman! Are you kidding me? Nope. Why would I be kidding? He kind of looks like a deformed coconut. That is an interesting way of putting it. Also, he is a grass type. Therefore, I will hurt him. Lots! That was a stupid move, and I should feel terrible for it. There we go. Money! Money makes the world better, doesn't it, Dark and Fire? In this game it does, apparently. Mm-hmm. It means upgrades. Also, fun fact, uh, regardless of how strong and how many chips we might have at the end of the game, Oh, you got a HP and a power-up by the email. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, regardless in this game, like, no matter how much you get, the next game, Lan and Mega Man will always start back at level 1. Uh. Apparently Lan hits the format button more times than anyone fucking else in their entire life. Also, time skip, one month. Peace didn't last long in the town of ACDC. Dum dum. And apparently it's a Saturday and Lan is a lazy sleeper. And he has weekend class. Well, isn't he boned? However, that'll come for another day. So, thank you for watching. Please visit us at GameAnyone.com. And Dark and Fire, do you have anything to share with us? No. What do you think of Battle Network so far? Mediocre. What do you think of Capcom? Mediocre. What do you think of their writing? Horrible. Well, at least that's a different answer. Tune in next time, folks. Bye.